hello internet how you doing welcome back to the channel my name is dj loso and today i just want to show you a quick tip on how to get your vocal sit in the mix or glue everything together but a lot of people complain and say their computers cannot handle big projects even mine and i just want to show you a trick on how to do that but before i start consider subscribing so that i'll keep on bringing more fire videos like this I've got an acapella that I exported a 32-bit float from Waves into FL Studio. And then this is where I am I have created a beat. And then before I export this beat, I just want to make sure that everything isn't fighting with, with each other. The frequencies and everything and all that kind of stuff. And I just want to show you how I do that first i exported a rough beat and i recorded the artist and then now i've got the acapella and then i exported the acapella back to fl studio so i like to start with the kick snare and a bass you should understand that the kick and a bass are the most important elements in every mix regardless of the genre so the kick and the bass this is the low end this is where we get the strength the punch of every song so let me quickly show you without wasting no time okay let's start with the with the kick right i've already gained stage the kick and i think i'll make a quick video on how to gain stage your things right the kick let's bring in the snare and then now let's bring in the bass right I've got two basses. I've got the light bass. Um, okay, my light bass is supposed to be... Okay, let's bring in the light bass first. Okay, let's mute the light bass. I think the light bass and the, the sub bass are kind of colliding and all that kind of stuff. Let's just bring in the sub bass which is the 808 and what i'm doing right now i'm side chaining my kick to my bass how am i doing that if you click on the kick master and then it's going right here side chain to this track and then on this 808 master i've got what we call track spacer this is a secret weapon this is what i do in every mix right as you can see whenever the kick hits it's actually telling the arrow a that hey i'm coming hey i'm coming so that the bass and 808 the bass and the kick will not fight right this is how you side chain but this is not a video on how to side chain a kick and a bass i'm just showing you the idea right then let's bring in the acapella right? <laughs> in the percussion i want to bring in things one by one and control the volume of those elements to mark the chorus because um the chorus is the engine of the song is the heart of the song that's where a lot a lot of uh, that's where we put a lot of elements there uh you know and all that kind of stuff right no, and that's the favorite part for most people no, no, let's bring in the guitar no, Can you hear the guitar? I want you to ask yourself that can I hear the hi hat panned to the left? Can I hear the guitar and all that kind of stuff? Right? No okay. no Let's increase the guitar volume a little no bit. No 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 now we can hear the mute guitar clearly. No right? 
let's bring in the acoustic right? no I felt like the acoustic, the volume of the acoustic was way too much. I could compress, I could use an opto compressor to just control the transient and all that kind of stuff. But in this case, let's just balance the volume. No no I'm sorry, my computer is dragging and all that kind of stuff. I also have an issue that I need to upgrade my PC and buy a better one. But these are the problems that people with shitty computers like mine face they just want to mix everything they just want to glue everything together but they struggle and then they end up just okay i'll mix a bit on its own then i'll try to glue the vocals and the mix together and then they struggle at the end of the day no do i need some strings i don't think i need some strings what is this uh this is the okay uh and the other thing if you want the beat the vocals to penetrate inside of the instrumentation what you need to do is you should consider panning panning is very important as you can hear right now i'm panning my stuff my guitars and stuff and this this hi-hat loop is panned to the left and the other one is panned to the right, right? Right? And then my acoustic guitar is panned to the right. And then there is reverb there. I'll have to send it to the reverb side chain. And then I don't want to put reverb on the uh, inset uh, uh, channel. I just want to take my reverb as a send. Um, in this case, I feel like the issue, uh, the acoustic is a little bit muddy. Okay. And then let's grab an EQ let's grab parametric eq okay i like to just increase a little bit of brightness just a little bit not afraid to boost things <laughs> okay what is this what is this piano i can't hear it what's going on here mm, oh 52 is it muted i don't know what's going on but there must be a problem with that I want you to listen. You can hear everything in the mix. start with kick and acapella sometimes it's different i learned this from this other famous engineer that you should build your song like sometimes you start with the acapella and then you start build bringing everything building uh, your song around that a cappella. Sometimes you start with a kick and then you start bringing in vocals and then build your song around everything. <laughs> The 
goal right here is to make everything you just want to make everything clear and you want people to hear this you cannot be making a beat and then put this mute guitar and then i will not hear it there will be no point in doing that if you want people to hear this guitar you spend a lot of time creating it and then make sure it's heard but again when you make a beat in fl studio you export the beat and then you expect things to glue together you'll be disappointed just export the beat record it somewhere bring in the acapella and then try to build the song with the acapella until you're satisfied ladies and gentlemen of the internet the video will end here i hope you have learned a thing or two let me know in the comment section if you are satisfied or if you know another trick on how to actually make the vocals penetrate into the beat until next time dj loss